And we're back. And hey, hey. we're talking Star Wars stuff. We are going back into that land, the desert land. So much desert in this mm-hmm. Star Wars universe. But uh, yeah. Book of Boba Fett series, season one, maybe. Who knows? We'll get more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, seven episode review here today with your real pastors. Uh, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and plenty of spoilers. We're going to spoil the crap out of this. So if you have not seen it, uh, put pause, go binge it, since it's all out there now, and then come back and have a conversation with us. And uh, and also, if you haven't yet, hit subscribe. Hit Do subscribe. that too. If you haven't watched it, pause it, subscribe, and then go watch it, and then come back. There you go. Perfect. Because and fire up that Disney Plus machine and watch it. But Book of Boba Fett, something that. Uh, I didn't think we'd ever see, um, Mm -hmm. but we got it, and I think we both have some thoughts. Yes. Yes, we do, and there is a lot to talk about this thing, so I guess maybe I'll go ahead and get started. Um, It just, this thing was a roller coaster for me. Um, First episode was okay. Second episode was was pretty good, Um, you know, because I like the whole, hey, we're going to show you what happened after he got out of the pit, the Sarlacc pit, whatever you say it. Um, and I thought that was great. I think showing some flashbacks for the Tuscan Raiders and all that was good. Um, to me, it was just a little too much because I'm like, listen, man, from Mandalorian season two, you showed us that he's on Boba Fett. Uh, Boba Fett. Boba Fett is on uh, Jabba the Hutt's throne. I want to see more of that and what's happening. And it spent so much time in flashbacks. And now it's just kind of like, come on, man, let's get this thing moving. And uh, and then I was just kind of feeling. Like, they're not doing Boba Fett justice. Like, I know he was not a character with huge screen time, but I expected more out of this bounty hunter that everyone feared. And it wasn't that. And so, and before we get into the other episodes, I mean, those are kind of my first thoughts of some of the first episodes of this thing. So I was kind of like, eh, about it. What about you, Gary? Um, I think I'm, I'm right there with you. Um, and after watching this series i i come away thinking that was some great star wars stuff and some okay boba fett stuff mm-hmm. um, i get how his time with the, the tuscan raiders or the mm-hmm. people yeah. as i call them around my house um they uh i, I get that storyline and i get that being in flashback but i didn't need all that I, i'm right there i wanted more of him on the throne taking over for jabba the mm-hmm. hut and um yeah, so that was kind of a complaint for me. And I came away from this thinking, you know what? Maybe Boba Fett is just better served as a side character, mm-hmm. not the main focus. Um, because yeah. I, mean, I didn't hate it, but it's also like I didn't didn't really didn't really care. Yeah, I know. And like I expected this to like him just being awesome, right? kicking yeah. butt and taking names and and like so i got this picture and like when i see this picture i was like oh man that looks awesome like look at them looking legit and just like oh we're so angry and stuff and we're gonna take this town and that's what i expected out of it but we didn't get that and so it was like if you're gonna take this kind of character i wanted more of that and then you like even you saying you know i think this served more as him being a better as a side character um the show did too <laughs> apparently yeah. Yeah. Um, it did. I wasn't sure if we're going to get to that yet. But. <laughs> yeah, the show did too, but we'll get to that. But like, yes, yeah, so I was just kind of like, this is what I was expecting. Uh, but instead, I felt like we got this, and I felt like there was a lot more just like confusion and stuff. And I just kind of felt like we got more of this Boba Fett right here, where yeah. they're both just kind of like, uh, uh, what is that? You know, like they're just not really knowing like what's going on, right? Like they're just like, uh, they look so confused. And I felt like that's really more of what we got, and I just wasn't. We didn't get f- enough of her, in my opinion. I think she got it. She's a great yeah. character, and she very little, very little screen time. Yeah, yeah. She she should have got a lot more screen time, and I just I did I personally didn't appreciate this uh, softer Boba Fett. Like I wanted assassin bounty hunter Boba Fett, mm-hmm. and this softer one I just didn't appreciate. Like I get that he got soft from. Tuscan Raiders and stuff, but but still, he still could have been awesome. But that doesn't even make sense though, because the Tuscan Raiders were slaughtered. Yeah. So he should be out for vengeance, was I guess he is, and maybe it's just the Batman fan in me. I don't know. 
uh, <laughs> mention Batman in every video I'm contracted to do so. Uh, but, uh, maybe that's is, but he's just like, okay, I'm gonna bring peace. And it's like, no, you, I, you don't need to be doing that. You're Boba Fett. Mm-hmm. Go find, go take care of this. And I guess they kind of did towards the end, but I don't know. I just, I think the story of Boba Fett would have been better served. And I think I said this when it first. I said this after the first episode, and I still feel this way. Would have been better served as just a movie, an hour-long movie mm. that explains how he went from the Sarlacc pit to the episode of The Mandalorian. Mm-hmm. And then maybe a little bit for, you know, maybe him and, uh, was it Ming Wing? I, mean, I can't Ming Wing name. Young, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. With them being bounty hunters together and just hint at them on the doing side missions and stuff. And that's really all we need of the character. Mm-hmm. And what made Boba Fett so great? One, he, he looks awesome. Yeah, you know. But two, there was a, a there was a mystery around him, mm-hmm. and that's kind of gone now. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer. Yeah, and especially because in Mandalorian, we already saw him with his helmet off mm-hmm. and all that. The it's fact him. that yeah, which made sense because he didn't have his armor. Didn't have it. But him constantly taking his helmet off, I'm like, stop it. Like yeah. it just drove me nuts. I'm like, stop doing that. Like, like be like. I know he was wasn't true Mandalorian or whatever. I guess, but still, it was just like, keep the helmet on. Like, be awesome. And I mean, that's you had it on through the original trilogy. <clears throat> well, I guess Empire and Return of the Jet. Like, you had it on. And like, you get your armor back. Keep it on. Like, be the awesome Boba. And they did it. They kind of, for lack of a better term, they kind of neutered him a little bit. And I don't appreciate that. I don't like when they go back and do those kinds of things. And and, uh, and then, like we said earlier, as you stated, even the show was like, you know, maybe Boba Fett should take a back seat. Because that's when the show actually got good. Mm-hmm. And it had little to do with Boba Fett. And that was, what, episode four? Uh, five. Five, three, five, 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 six. Very little yeah. Boba Fett. I think he wasn't even in episode five, I don't think. So... Uh, Maybe not. I don't know. But that's yeah. when Mando shows up. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Because we, we, well, I guess I think it was episode four was the Mando episode. Yeah. Episode Lula. five is when he was kind of there. And like we got yeah. the Luke and Grogu and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And then episode six was a finale. So I think it was like the last three. No, no. So five was when Mando showed up. Oh, okay. Because seven was the finale. There were seven episodes. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. So I, that's why. So there's seven. So it was five, six, seven. Okay. Four is when they hinted at him that I missed. That's right. I, the te- I sent you a text. I was like, yeah. I missed the Mandalorian theme that played when they said, we need more muscle. Yeah. And, uh, and so I missed it. I don't know how. And so mm-hmm. when he showed up the next week, I'm like, what's going What the heck? I completely. Yeah. So I was like, completely shocked. But I will say, as much as this series was very okay. Episodes five and six were some of the best Star Wars stuff I've seen in a very long time. Mm-hmm. And, and in a mo- movie, a movie, a show called Book of Boba Fett, mm-hmm. <clears throat> he took a backseat to his own show. Yeah. Um, so when, when you look at it from the lens of like Boba Fett stuff, that's where I think the series didn't work because yeah. he had to take a backseat in his own series. Mm-hmm. But if you do look at it as the Book of Star Wars stuff, yes, then this was a great series. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and we look at it that way because yeah, then you, you were able to build. On the character of Boba Fett, you're able to show all that extra stuff, really dive into his character, which I think that's the the first episode would have been better served if they just continued just with Boba Fett and maybe just had Mando show up mm-hmm. for the fight. And mm-hmm. then you could have that, and I think it probably would have been better served, but where it didn't do that and he took a backseat to his own show and then it turned into Mandalorian Season 3, Episodes 1 through 3, yeah. then, then, like, then that's where like it didn't serve the Boba Fett thing very well. And I do wonder what the thinking is. Is it they realized they didn't have enough of the character to fill seven episodes, so they bring in the Mandalorian um, mm-hmm. in, in that storyline? Or is it more of like they wanted to remind people, hey, here's our here's our key property right now. Here's Mandalorian. Here's Grogu. Mm-hmm. You know? um, I don't know because episodes five through seven would have been a great – kick off for season three of yes. Mandalorian. However, maybe they wanted to do that so when they start episode or season three, they don't have to tell the whole we know why how they got reunited. Uh, spoiler alert, Grogu chooses Mando. Yeah. Uh, and uh so may, so maybe now episode season three can be them two back together on their journeys. Right. 
maybe hitting a fast forward to that. But yeah. I think what it boiled down to is they felt like they just didn't have enough of Boba Fett to, to do things. Yeah. Yeah. And that's my thing. I feel like they could have done it. They still could have done this, this, like all this whole show, but she even show maybe even more of like the infighting between him and the other leaders on Tatooine, like mm-hmm. in the different districts and maybe them fighting a little bit. And then the pikes coming in and messing up. Like, I feel like they could have done more with Boba Fett yeah. and still have Mando show up. But Mando, but then like the whole thing with Grogu and all that, you don't have to explain it because it hasn't happened yet. Yeah. And then season three, those first episode or two is what we saw. And then you continue the story. So I feel like you still could have done that. Yeah. Why they felt the need to do it this way to me makes no sense. Yep. Um, you, you, you did a disservice to Boba Fett. I mean, you did great for Mando and you're lifting that character up. Oh. Um, you did, you did great for, um, Cynic, which was, I think that's her name, right? Cynic is, uh, Ming-Na wins the sniper, yep. the Cynic. assassin. Yeah. Cynic. You did great for her character. There wasn't enough, but what you gave us was great. So I would like to see more of her character. Yeah. Um, but the main title character, you did nothing for it. And that's where it's like, that's where the letdown comes in. Um, but all the side characters I thought were cool. The, the Wookiee, uh, yes. he was awesome. Yes, he was. Yeah. You know? Awesome. So the only thing, they, the only extra characters I didn't like were the Power Ranger biker gang. Yeah. I didn't like, care for them. Kind of lame. Yeah. yeah but. Um, and I, it just, I said this to you, I texted this to you after episode six. If you change the name of this show, no one bats an eye at mm-hmm. the lack of Boba Fett. Yeah. Dan Merle said it on his show first. He said it on YouTube first, so I guess he gets the credit. But if you change this to Star Wars Chronicles or my idea was Star Wars stuff. Yeah. You just tell <laughs> stories in this universe and you still have Mandalorian. Like, don't you still have that show, but like these side stories, just call it mm-hmm. something else. I'll call it I'll call it Book of Star Wars. And then you don't yeah. have to focus. It can be okay that you venture away from mm-hmm. Boba Fett for a little bit but as a Boba Fett story not great as a Star Wars story those last three episodes I thought were were pretty amazing yes yes they were which and, makes it very difficult for me to rate this so I don't, I don't know <laughs> yeah I know and that's what I was going to say we got to shift into a rating now can we talk um, about something really quick sorry yes please I, can we talk about this uh because I have not watched the Clone Wars sorry Denzel I still haven't I'm planning mm-hmm. on it talk about this Cobb Bane fellow oh yeah who will haunt my dreams for the next few years he does look creepy. Referring to him as Star Wars Undertaker. Oh, um, nice. This guy, holy cow. Yeah. You know I love a good Western. In the yeah, I, I knew you were going to be loving him yeah, because of yeah. everything. I knew it. Him and Timothy Oliphant's character, that I can't remember his name. You know, just, yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that was um, that was some pretty, pretty intense stuff every time he showed up on screen. Yeah, it was. I liked his presence, and I liked, I liked his character a lot. It's a shame they killed him off. Um, again, we said spoiler alert at the beginning, but I'm just like, dude, it would have been seeing like, like if you want to continue, have them battle. Obviously, there's something there. He was like, you're, you, I'm faster than you. They have some kind of history, him and Boba Fett. It would have been great to continue to figure out what that was about. Yeah. But, that you know. Cool. Yeah. But, they, yeah, when they killed him, I was like, oh, no, I want to see more of that guy. He was he was intense. He was yeah. always a good villain. So. Yeah. And, and be, also, before we rate, one thing I realized, remember when we finished watching season two of Mandalorian, we were like, Oh no, Luke took Grogu. We know what happens. Mm-hmm. We answered that question. So yeah. Grogu is not a part of that. So technically yeah. he could still be alive out there somewhere. Yep. So that's yeah. that's good, good news. news for everyone. That is good news. And uh lots to explore on the Mandalorian. Which is just such a difference in the show because like you think of Boba Fett now and it's like, okay, I guess they could go back to him, but you think of Mandalorian, it's like, oh my gosh, the possibilities of that show. Now I can't wait for season three. I'm, just, I'm such a fanboy about that show. I, I admit it. I yeah. Just, I well, it's very character. it's very western, so yeah. which makes sense. But then it, it really is a good Star Wars show too. Yeah. I've actually got an idea when season three starts. It's, I'm assuming it's going to be a Wednesday morning. So I'm going to set an alarm every Wednesday morning. It's going to be the Mandalorian theme. Good. The show. Yeah, there you that. go. As you should. Anyway. So, so reeling it in because we we could go off a of Mandalorian, Boba Fett, Book of Boba Fett, okay. our reviews. Um, you know, ratings one through five, and just a quick reminder for everyone: a one is utter, complete, unwatchable trash. A two is not good, but it's passable. You could sit through it if need be. A three, it's 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 okay. You know, it it can or cannot be shelf worthy, but it was okay, decent, fun time. A four is a phenomenal, great movie. A five is just a masterpiece. Right. Just a reminder of what our hail marys are. 
one through five Hail Marys. Gary, sir, what rating would you give it? I have no idea. He has I definitely no recommend idea. people watching it. I was telling my buddy Andy last night that mm-hmm. we at a basketball game. I was like, dude, it's definitely worth a watch. Book of Boba Fett. Um, I, I got to go three. Mm-hmm. My heart wants to go four with the uh, – Mandalorian stuff, but this isn't the Mandalorian book of Boba Fett, so I'm going three. It was all right. It was good. Yeah, yeah. I guess I'll keep that up there. That was the rating I was going to give it. It wasn't terrible. You shouldn't watch it, like you know, just if it's on. So I, I was like, it was, it was a three. It was very up and down. Uh, Mando stuff definitely saved it from being a two or even a one, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so the Mando stuff got it, gave it a three. So worth a watch. And, um, and if you could care less about the Boba Fett stuff after hearing our review, <clears throat> excuse me, just skip to episode five and watch the rest and you, you'll you see everything you need to see for the most part. Um, so you'll be pretty good. Yep. So there you go. Real yeah. Pastors agree. Three Hail Marys for Book of Boba Fett. Check it out. Let us know in the comments your thoughts and what you thought of Boba Fett. And if, again, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Please, the YouTube gods and... Uh, Just keep getting our content out there. And thanks for joining us on this journey. Thanks for joining us for another edition of Star Wars Stuff. Star Wars Stuff. May the Force be with you all. See you.